So the bug jar that I had intended to do this week didn't work out. Uh, it has taken me longer to edit it than I had anticipated. So I am doing a little bit of an informal porch conversation here on our front porch. Look at it, it's so nice. On my rocking chair. I'm not gonna rock the whole time, but I just want you to see that this is in fact a rocking chair. Uh, so my last video was about goals and about how I have been using Joni. No, <laughs> she's trying to eat acorns. Uh, I have been using my planner to sort of help me uh, have some structure in my days in this very strange time that feels like things are sort of out of control. But I wanted to talk about uh, the importance of letting yourself not be productive and letting yourself not be in like go mode and doing all the things all the time mode uh, especially now but really at any time um, I think we're kind of obsessed with productivity in America and I think honestly as if you're a millennial you're probably obsessed with productivity because it's just it's been ingrained into you that your value as a person is in how much you get done um, and that's just not true uh, it's been a rough time for everybody and in the last couple days I've just had to like move at a really slow pace and not do as much as I would want to do or as much as I would even do in a normal week um, and give myself I've had to give myself permission to uh, rest and to be imperfect and to you know sit on the couch and watch nailed it while I eat my breakfast <laughs> um, and do things that bring a little bit of joy and a little bit of levity um, and not just rush into everything um, I've been getting used to this the schedule of teaching online um, as well as taking on a little bit more freelance work which I'm really thankful to be able to do um, but with that I've just I've been tired and I think a lot of us have been um, and so this is just me hopping on here briefly and very informally uh, to talk about the importance of letting yourself not just be wrapped up in producing and always getting things done. So there's this meme that went around and now there's been a counter meme to it, but it was something like, uh, if you don't come out of this quarantine with a new skill or your side hustle going or some other thing, then you never lack the time, you just lacked the drive or initiative or something like that. And that's just, that's just plain wrong, y'all. Um, we're in a period of, the, like, we've never seen this before. No one who is currently alive has ever lived through anything exactly like this. And it's hard, you know, and so if you need to take a day and sleep in in the middle of the week and wear your jammies all day if you feel like it and, you know, eat a cookie, whatever, like, do it. <laughs> do the things that you need to do to restore yourself and practice listening to what your body is asking of you. Now, to be fair, like, you do need to, like, probably get up and move around a little bit um, and try to as much as you can eat things that are good for you because eating healthy and getting rest and um, doing a little bit of exercise not necessarily trying to get fit but just moving your body if you're able to um, those are all things that do boost your mood we've been walking every day and it's been a lot of fun I have enjoyed going for walks even when I've kind of been slogging through my morning and not really feeling like doing it, we get the dogs and head out to our neighbor's land. He's been really gracious about letting us and a couple of the other neighbors walk our dogs back there. And so we've done our little, little traipses across his land and just being out in the sun and in the, the fresh spring air that has made my eyes and face swell up <laughs> today. Um, has been good for my mood and it helps me like get ready to sit down and do do things and that's something that I had never done before I'd always like gotten up and gone straight into you know I eat and then I then I work and that was kind of my 
my go-to for my mornings. And now that we have this little morning ritual of getting up and doing a little hike with the dogs, um, I feel better. I feel more focused and, and more able to actually do some of the things that I need to get done. So it's, it's interesting giving myself that little bit of time to restore myself every morning um, and giving myself permission to not, not work immediately has helped me do better work than I thought I could. So anyway, I feel like I'm starting to ramble a little bit, so maybe I should stop this video and let you get on with your lives. Um, but yeah, I think it's important. It is important to make goals and set them and try to keep up with them, but it's also important to know that life is not just about achieving and accomplishing and being productive, and that there are other facets of it that we have to take into consideration and listen to and and implement. We have to implement that rest. So thank you for tuning in for this informal rocking chair on the front porch uh, bug jar today. And we'll be back with a new episode next week um, that I will, will finish before the next one. Um, and I hope you guys are staying healthy and um, just take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time.